Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've had several people ask about the renovations that we have made in our toy hauler. So we took some time to actually live in our camper, travel in our camper without any upgrades, anything that we had done in the back. Mainly um, a couple of reasons, but the main reason was um, we wanted to live in it and see kind of gain an idea of how we would use the space and the best uh, way to make changes in the back that would uh, work for our family. So you're going to see a lot of them are mostly functional. We don't have one of the, you know, Instagram worthy um, toy haulers where we've done a lot of painting and made everything look super um, aesthetically beautiful, so to speak, but it is very practical and it works for our family. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of show you some of the things uh, that we have done in the back to make the toy hauler, which we kind of referred to as the kid hauler because it is the bedroom for all four of our kids. So some of them are very basic changes that we have made um, just because we wanted to change a couple of things. Um, and a couple of things we still have left to do, and I might point out some of those as well. So first things first, we have not gotten to the point where we have replaced this. We want to replace it with some of the wood trim that you'll see that we've used in different places um, around the camper. But we kind of focus on the things that we needed to change in order to make it livable. And some of the aesthetic things are kind of put on hold until we get to that point where we can work on some of the things we just want to change to look better. So. First things first, we have, we changed out the horrible blinds in the camper. They're the metal blinds, which work great if you have an actual toy and you've got like gas fumes in the car and in the toy hauler that you want to kind of make sure it's aren't attaching to anything. Well, these aren't great or like super beautiful curtains. They are room darkening curtains. And that's kind of important for our family because our kids need a completely dark room. So um, that's why we went with these. When we turn off the lights, even when it's super bright outside, it makes this room really dark, which was kind of important to us. So while they're not the most, you know, aesthetically pleasing blinds, they do the exact purpose which we wanted. So we don't have any blinds on here um, any longer. So during the day, we actually have some of these little magnet things that I actually have just been attaching to our washer and dryer. And and they just come apart and so during the day when the kids want a little bit of light in the room they just work together and they pull apart and that will keep the um, all of the curtains open for them to let a little bit of light in then when you're done you can just take them apart they fold up again and then we can attach them to the washer so um Around here, we have just a couple of these curtain holders that holds all of the kids' jackets and sweatshirts. And then we um, just changed out the trim. We just wanted a little bit of the natural wood look. So we just put, um, honestly, it kind of had to come off when we put the carpet down. So that's another thing to point out is we added a carpet pad and carpet down on the floor so um it's super squishy makes it feel a very very homey i think it's going to help in keeping it cool as well as keeping it warm in the winter and it's this gray and i don't think you can see a lot of the dirt or the things that fall so um I think it, actually the kids have sat on it and laid on it and they're like, this is comfortable. I would sleep on this. So between the mat or the pad underneath and the carpet, it's super, super lush and squishy and they really like it. Um, but I digressed. That was, we had to take this, the original trim pieces off because they were in the way of getting the carpet in. So when we pulled those off, we're like, ah, we'll just replace it with the natural wood that we like. So if we keep moving, um, we do have the LG washer dryer combo. That's not particularly new. We did get that while we were on an assignment and traveling and it's been a game changer. We do like one load, like every day, every other day. And with this little clothing that we have, it works really well. Um, a load does take quite a bit of time, but, um, I like that when I put it in the washer it automatically starts drying and I don't really have to worry about the, um, forgetting to put something from the washer into the dryer. So it's been a lifesaver. And before we got it, I was spending a lot of money at the laundromat. So 
it's nice to have. Okay, and so over here we have one of the things that I want to show you is we installed this shower curtain rod. So we removed the door that was here. So when we have our washer and dryer here, the door open and you're like trying to squeeze in in between the door. And so we decided we take the door off and we would just put a shower curtain rod and a shower curtain here. And that kind of works and does the trick for what we need it to. I really like this shower curtain rod because it is extendable. So when we are not needing the restroom, we can push it in. But when the kids decide that they need to go in there, it comes out, they can pull the curtain around and then they can tuck it in right here. And it gives a little bit extra space and a little bit more arm room to move around without feeling like the curtain is like invading in on your space. Then when you're done, you just push it right back in. You can slide the curtain back out of the way. Over here, we also put in trim pieces here to kind of match all the places. We have the trim there and right here as well. So when we were taking off the door, it just exposed the inside wood and we needed to cover it up. And then you'll see here, we each, each of the kids has a hook and they each have one of these little feeding pickles, little bags where they store some of their stuff. So they all have one of those where they can keep all of their things in as well. So this kind of is transitioning over to more of the things that we did. So when you are back here, there's absolutely zero storage. When you have the toy hauler, there's no dressers or anything to put any of your kids clothes in. So we knew that that was a big challenge before when we were traveling, we had boxes that we would shift around every night. And while that worked, it kind of became frustrating because it was hard to keep it clean. It was hard to keep those boxes filled and then stack them and unstack them. So we wanted something a little bit more permanent so that everything had a place to go. So what we did is we knew we wanted to get these Calyx Ikea um, boxes. And so this is the just the two by four box and or storage containers and then we got all of the storage boxes from Ikea as well. And so actually when you look and as I show you the rest of the room, you're gonna see that each kid actually has four of these. So between their clothing and or toys, activities or anything that they wanna bring, they each have four and they can kind of figure out depending on how much room they need for their clothes um, that's kind of what they have left over for any of the extra things that they want to bring, whether it's Legos, storage, um, or like books or coloring books, Barbies, Calico Critters, all of those different things, they can put those in those boxes. Now, my original goal was that we would have this and that Gabriel, who sleeps up in the loft, would actually be able to climb up on these. And if you have ever seen the recent Calyx boxes, they're just not sturdy enough to hold an almost... 100 pound teenager. They were giving and they were creaking and it just wasn't going to work long term. So what we decided to do was actually build like a little uh, brace around it that is attached to this wall of the camper. Actually, my husband just pointed out to me that their kids actually have five boxes. So they have four of these boxes and um, so one kid has these four, one kid has these four, and we actually, as I'll get to in just a second, we actually have an entire one of these two by fours that is laying flat, The another um, uh, Calyx storage containers that are laying flat underneath our beds. And so each kid actually has four of these, and then we have a two by two where each kid has one of those to hold toys, books, Legos, cars, whatever. And so they actually have five cubes. All right. So we built this frame around this storage container because again, the storage container was not strong enough to hold the weight of a kid climbing up on to get into the loft. So we had, we built this and then we went ahead and purchased this ladder, um, separate did not come with our camper. We just purchased it online to go and it comes with these little brackets. So actually, oh, I got my sunglasses. So actually when they're ready to get in bed and for nighttime, this will actually um, latch into here to ensure that the ladder's not gonna fall sometime during the night or if someone's need to get down in the middle of the night or in the morning, that those will stay. But then Gabriel is able to climb up here, get up on here and go up into his loft. The other two boys are able to climb up to here and get on the top bunk. And then Eden's able to climb to about this step and scooch on over to her bed, which is this bottom bunk. Then in the morning, once everyone is up, we'll just go ahead, lift up this ladder move it over here and that's where we will store it during the day so in the morning they're able to actually put the ladder up and it'll just be out of the way for the rest of the day 
Um, the, this actually is pretty sturdy. As I mentioned, it is attached to this bathroom wall and, um, the kids are already commenting about who's going to be able to sit here during the day, do their reading and have their reading time. They kind of like to call it their little perch. And so they enjoy just sitting up here and being able to kind of look all among the rest of the room. All right. So let's go ahead and get to the bunks. We actually had to make a platform bed here. So we had those fold down benches and um, we, we made do with it for the six months that we traveled and really had hopes that we could get one of these beds. But, but by the time we traveled to Elkhart and purchased it and get it and it was just, it wasn't going to work for us. So we just needed to build our own. So what this is, is a platform bed that my husband has built on the existing frame that's there. And what's great about it is that he built it with two by fours and plywood. And then we obviously have just some, you know, front decorative wood on the front. And then we put some pieces on underneath, so some white, real thin plywood pieces um, to be able to um, kind of just cover up the frame of it. But what's great about it is that if someone were to purchase this and they don't want this as a bed, it's actually going to be super simple for them to lift this frame off of the existing track that exists if they wanted to put the bench seats back down. So nothing of what we've done is undoable. So if and when we ever decide to sell our toy hauler um, and someone wants to uh, change it back to an actual toy hauler, it would be really simple to be able to undo any of the things that we've done and you know put it back to its original state. So again, we've changed this to a queen size bed for Eden and or Gabriel, depending on when we've had um, inclement weather and then um, obviously have um, the two younger boys here. You'll also notice that we have curtains in between the Happy Jack system. Those are just spring-loaded curtain rods with the exact same curtains that we have. They're just squeezed in between the Happy Jack system. I think they're pretty secure in there, but I do think if a kid were to yank really hard on the curtains or if they were to, you know, a kid were to pull on them at some point, they would kind of shimmy on down uh, the Happy Jack system or even fall out. But we've had them up there for weeks and they haven't fallen down so far. So let me go ahead and slide up the beds and you guys will be able to see what it looks like with the beds up. So this is what it looks like with the beds up completely on the Happy Jack system. So when they wake up and they're done for the day, the ladder goes back, the beds go up, and then they have all this space. As I mentioned before, we had the vertical calyx um, storage cubes, and then we have the horizontal. So like I said, each kid has four, and that'll be to store their clothes. And then if you peek around here, we have another that's just a two by two. And so each kid will have one of the Calyx boxes over here, mainly to store their activities, books, coloring books, crafts, whatever they want to take with us. And then we also have the Ikea desk, which works really great as far as just having a quick and easy when you pull this out and then pull the leg out. It's an automatic desk that the kids can use during their school time. If we need to, um, it has a, uh, leaf on the other side as well that can be pulled up. So if we have a lot of kids that need to do something or we want to do something in the back, like play a game, we can put up, pull the desk out and uh, elongate both of the sides. So that is kind of handy. I will say that this desk is super heavy. So if you have trouble carrying things, just keep that in mind because it's a behemoth and super heavy. We do also have the corduroy uh, like bean bag. It's the one that I think it's infamous for being or famous for being on um, Shark Tank. And so you can actually take it out and it lays out into a bed and then you can fold it up and toss it back into the bean bag and it becomes a chair. The kids really like it. It works well for playing video games because we do have the TV on the back wall. And so they like that to um, be able to have in that way too. If we ha wanted some, if someone wanted to be able to sleep on the floor or pull it out into the living room, that's a nice option as well. Um, one thing to note, we do have a really long tension rod to go on the back and curtains to go on the back as well. We don't have those up because we can't have our back down right now. So, um, 
we do have that option to be able to have, um, again, room darkening, uh, bl uh, not blinds, but curtains hanging from a really long, I think it's like an eight foot long tension rod that will go from the two sides of the camper to be able to have, uh, if we have the back down to be able to keep out the light as well. And then another thing that we have is we have just off of Amazon, just some little cheap little uh, LED lights that during the day, while we intend, you know, when it's nice out to have all of the curtains pulled aside to let in, you know, the natural light that everyone wants. But if it happens to be a little cloudy or at nighttime and we need a little bit extra light, we have um, some LED lights that are on the bottom and they're controlled by a remote and they are just rechargeable. So um, if you, they're all connected, if you turn on the light for uh, on the remote, they all come on and it gives just a little bit of extra light. It would be enough at, at nighttime to be able to sit down in the um, bean bag and be able to read. Um, but again, it does have um, a, just a remote that controls all of them. Another thing that we like about them is that they are magnetic. So we put a magnetic strip right here. And then if during the nighttime, if they're laying in their bed and they want to be able to have a nightlight, we'll just pull these off after we pull the bed down and they attach to the happy jack actual like mount here and they'll be able to take these with them. So each kid can grab one and then they can be able to turn it off when they're done reading and then go to bed. So that's an extra little thing that we like with them that we can kind of move them um, wherever we want them to go. But that's pretty handy little toy as well. Another thing that I will, <laughs> that one didn't go off. There it goes. All right. Another thing that we added as we have some hooks right here that the kids use to hang up their hats. And those are just simple command hooks. Um, if you've lived in an RV any amount of time, you know that command hooks are your best friend. And so each kid has a couple of those hooks to hang up their hats as well. And I think that is it. We have a couple of things left. Like I mentioned, we have the trim that we want to do. We'll remove this and replace this trim as well. We want to have something, a little cubby maybe to store some shoes right here. Right now we're just storing an extra table that kids use for um, schoolwork or games. And then also our heaters that we've used when we've been in a little bit cooler temperatures. And then the last thing is, is perhaps maybe leveling out the back of the toy hauler, how it has the little lip where it goes down. Um, some of the storage things might need a little additional support on that back lip. So maybe needing to make a little bit of, you know, level out that floor so that they can sit level on the toy hauler. But overall, I think that's the majority of the changes. We're really pleased with it. I know it's not the most glamorous thing, but I think it's going to be really practical and work really well for our family. So if you guys have any questions of how we did something, where we got something, as always, I'm happy to answer those. Just drop those questions below and I will answer them for you. And until next time, guys, have a blessed day.